morning all it is Susie Ashworth here founder of the Combat School and the baby business school and I wanted to hop on this morning I'm at the beach I've just been doing a little bit of coaching in the monetize your message group program and I'm feeling fired up and excited about the week ahead and partly that's because I'm going to be recording the audio version of my book on uh, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, which is really exciting to me. But other than that, I just, there is a really lovely energy that I am feeling at this point in time. Hey, Bev, also excited to be seeing you on Saturday, my lovely lady. Um, um, yeah, I've just got a really, there's a really lovely energy that I'm feeling in my personage right now. And what I know is that when we feel that vibe, we need to lean in, stretch it, milk it, do everything that we can to expand into that to help build momentum um, and keep it running for as long as possible before someone gets in the way and says something really fucking annoying and um, I slip a little bit because that's what happens, right? That's what happens. We're like, yay, I haven't spoken to anybody. And then you speak to somebody and, they're like, and then you're like, oh God, kill me now. Hey gorgeous, so excited for Saturday. Thanks darling. Um, okay, so look, the question. Hey Kerry, morning gorgeous, morning Hannah. The question, do you really want it? And oh my god, this has been coming up so much for me. Hey Anita, so much for me over the last few weeks. And as a person who has a fucking great support network, who has all of the mindset tools coming out of my arse. It's really interesting to me how many times I say that I want something and then I do not act in accordance with that desire. And what I absolutely know to be true is if I say that I want something and then I do not take the actions necessary to make that thing happen, there is some part of me that does not really want it to happen. And I get frustrated when I see loads of the community saying that they want something, but then not following through, not taking the action needed in order to create their reality and the reason that I'm noticing I'm noticing it everywhere at the moment I'm noticing it in so many places the reason I'm noticing it in so many places is because I'm fucking doing it I'm saying I want this I want that I want this I want that and then I'm not taking the action to follow through because drum roll why aren't I taking the action people why aren't you taking the action people drum roll because I am scared of failure. I'm scared of getting it wrong. I'm scared of being judged. I'm scared that people won't love me. I'm scared that people are gonna point me out for being an imposter. All the same old crap. And you know what? It doesn't ever stop. And maybe it does stop. Maybe it does stop for enlightened individuals. It doesn't ever stop. The more you want to grow, the more you want to expand, the more you deal with it. So, you know, Denise Duffel Thomas says, new level, new devil. Pat Letterzo says, new level, old devil. It doesn't matter. It means the same thing. The same old crap continues to come up. And I just, you know... I think the reason that I'm feeling excited today and I want to take this energy and move with this momentum is because I know that when I'm in this type of flow, I get shit done. And I know that when I have this type of awareness, I make decisions based on where I know I am capable of being. And I see myself, I'm able to show up in this way because I am on point I see myself as already there 
you know and what that is about is momentum it is about having all of the mindset tools it is about getting up early and doing my meditation it is about doing my journaling it is about having my coach go for fuck's sake cz sort your fucking life out um uh, <laughs> loads of swearing there apologies if there are any little people around but yeah it is about having all of those things and this morning the culmination of that and whoop, that's okay <laughs> dog saying hello um uh, it is about having the culmination of all of those things that make me go oh god Susan, let's just do it let's just step up let's just not be worried about the judgment and just do what you know that you're supposed to do and it is also reconnecting with my vision which is to help as many women as possible realize their limitless potential and in order to do that i have to have difficult conversations i have to say to people why are you acting like that why aren't you following through why aren't you doing what you know you're capable of doing and i have to be really comfortable with people not liking me and sitting in their own discomfort as i call them out Bev, the moment I realised this doesn't stop, I was like, oh shit, this is hard. Do you know what's harder, Bev? I think what is harder is living a life of unfilled potential. That's what's harder. What is harder is going to bed every day and thinking, fuck, is this as good as it gets for me when you know that you are much, 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 much more capable of showing up and impacting people in the way that you desire. You know, you're much more capable of what you, you know, where you play, the arena that you're playing in right now because of the way that you communicate, you know, and it has... And I, yeah, I see it in myself and I see it in, I see it in you guys. I see it in the community. People saying, I really want to do this, but I'm afraid. I really want to do this. I can't because of my husband. I really want to do this, but I can't because of my kids. I really want to do this. I can't because I haven't got enough money. All of that is fear. All of that is not recognizing that you are fucking limitless. Yes, Hannah, I'm glad you hear this. I'm glad you hear this. It is not good enough to say, you know, it's not good enough to sit in scarcity. It's not good enough to say that there's not enough. There's not enough time. There's not enough money. There's not enough this. It's all bullshit. We create it. We have, if we stepped up and showed up every single day, if we believed in ourselves as much as I believe in the people that I work with, if you had even half of the belief that I have in you and the universe. Oh my God, we would be blowing up the freaking world. And you know what? I'm saying this as much to myself as I am to you because this is the conversation that I need to be having when I feel myself shrinking because not enough people have pre-ordered my book or why hasn't that person booked onto my retreat? Do you know what I mean? All of those fears, self-doubt, not good enough, it's fucking bullshit. Do you know what I mean? The job, the, my job is a really simple one, whether it's birth or whether it's business, is to make people realise that they have limitless potential. And even if that means only engaging with one solitary person who really, really gets it and makes a fucking decision, then my job is done. I am, you know, I've shown up and that makes me enough. That makes you enough. You know, it's not about how much money you have in the bank. It's not about how many likes you have on Facebook. It's not about how many people love you. It's about knowing that you woke up and you showed up and you delivered on your mission today. So if the rest of the day, and the example is this live stream, if the rest of the day is shit for me, I know that I showed up. I mean, it's not going to be shit because we then have to make the choice on a moment by moment basis. And I choose at the next moment, be good. You know, I choose at the next moment. I choose to be able to deal with um, um, any adversity that comes to me from a place of grace. And even if I'm not in grace, I choose to get back on the grace trip as soon as I can. 
<clears throat> Bev is saying, fuck yes, my life before was so much harder. This is different. This is a different hard. But the more I'm comfortable with myself, the easier it gets until the next level comes up. Yes. Hannah Abbey, call out my shit anywhere, anytime. I'm doing it, babe. Right. I've got a call, a coaching call at nine o'clock. I'm not where I need to be. If you're watching Catherine, I will be on here to speak to you shortly. Um, so I'm going to go. But yeah, take that with you and just, yeah, just do it. If you want something, then you have to get scared. You have to get uncomfortable. You have to step out of what you know. You have to bet on yourself. You have to take a risk. You have to stretch yourself. If you want something, they are the things that you need to do. Bet on yourself. Take a risk. Don't ask anybody else to believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Okay. I love you, Kerry Jarvis. Mwah, 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 mwah.